Hi! Don't worry, I won't play the guitar for you today, but I want to show you how easy it is to capture a signal with a lab amp and directly analyze it and visualize it in JBeam, our powerful measurement software. To make the example a bit more interesting, I took an electric guitar and I mounted an IEP accelerometer onto the body. The sensor is directly connected to the dynamic lab amp 5165A over here and the device is connected to my computer by Ethernet. How we find and connect a lab amp you can watch in this video here. If you want to measure with a lab amp in JBeam, I simply go to measure, measure modules and select Kistler lab amp. I enter the IP address of my device and connect. In case I need to configure anything, I can access the web interface by pressing open here. Let's check the configuration before we start a measurement. Channel 1 is the accelerometer, the sensitivity is correct, the range also makes sense and we don't use any filters. Channel 1 is activated for data acquisition and we select an appropriate sample rate. 50 kilo samples should be high enough. Once everything's configured, we can return to JBeam and define the triggers if we want. If we don't define any trigger, we control the measurement by pressing F5 for start and F6 for stop. So let's do it like this right now. When I drag this channel over to the graphics section, I'll directly see my signal when I acquire it. So let's start the measurement now and strum a chord. Now I have to capture data in my JBeam project. I can see everything and I can now directly perform calculations with the signal or visualize it however I want. Let's make an FFT and have a look on the frequency content. I'm interested in the amplitude spectrum only and I'm happy with the rectangular window. To see the result I can also just drag the spectrum over to the graphics section and to make it a bit more appealing I adjust a few things in the axis settings dialog. So show the minor grid, select the logarithmic x-axis, define the min-max manually, adjust the number format and the number of minor ticks. Now I can very well identify the frequencies of the different strings plus their harmonics. In case you've ever wondered how the wood of an electric guitar actually sounds, we can convert the numeric channel into an audio signal in JBeam. So let's listen to it now. This sounds quite a bit different to the sound you get from the magnetic pickups of a guitar and for sure different to what's usually coming out of an amplifier. Of course, you can now easily export this measurement also as a PDF report. In case you want to know more about JBeam, the lab amps or any other Kistler measuring equipment, just reach out to your local Kistler contact or go to kistler.com.